Good morning, everyone. I think many of you know me and know my colleague, John Lewis. We are involved with a ministry called Opal Trust, which for the past 10 years, with the help of the Lord, has been placing affordable books and Bibles into, but with, with a particular focus on the needier nations of the world. And it's been our privilege to partner with a number of you in the auditorium today, and uh, we look forward to continuing that, and uh, we hope too that we will be able to help more of you as we go away uh, from Dubuque at the end of the week. Uh, over these past 10 years, uh, we have distributed books and Bibles, and uh, also we encourage people back in our homeland of UK to make available to us books and Bibles that they are no longer using. And a lot of these books and commentaries, study aids, and so on, are of great value to those of you that have libraries in your colleges. And one of the ministries that um, has been particularly close to our hearts is to be able to partner with the colleges in the different parts of the world and help them build up their libraries by making these books available to them. So maybe this is something else we could um, uh, just encourage you to think about and we will be delighted to do that. We have also been able to do a little publishing. We have uh, been able to keep in print some of the vernacular Bibles, particularly in Africa, and done a little bit of printing and publishing ourselves. And I just want very quickly to mention three books um, you'll understand because we came with suitcases and not a truck, we uh, were only able to bring a few with us, um, but we can certainly make these available to you um, after we go back. This one, Knowing and Doing, is the one that Cap Thang mentioned last night. It's an excellent book written by John McCoy for, the, for discipling new believers. Um, we have just been amazed at the way this book has been accepted. It was first published in English about four years ago, and it's now gone into 18 different languages. And this week, we are just finalizing with our brother George Khalil here for the Arabic edition. And we reckon there are now somewhere between a quarter of a million and 300,000 copies of this book available around the world in different languages. I would also like to mention this book, co-written by our brother David Clarkston here and Stephen McCoy, known to many of you, Learning to Lead, Preparing People for Leadership in the Next Generation. And again, this will be a very valuable book, and we'd be delighted to help you get copies of that if you like to talk to us. And then uh, finally, this book, uh, written by Rob Dan. Some of you may know Rob Dan, who wrote Father of Faith Missions, the story of Anthony Norris Groves. He has written this missiological book, Mission Strategies Then and Now. And this book is becoming increasingly appreciated around the um, seminaries and Bible schools, not just within the Brethren movement, but I understand some of the Southern Baptists are now using it uh, I only have one copy left, but I will keep this so that any of you who would like to have a look at it before we go, uh, you can have a look at it, and again, we'd be delighted uh, to help you get copies of that book. If you come to our table around the uh, side of the uh, other auditorium, pick up a card if you want to keep in touch with us. It has all our details there. Talk to us before we go, and uh, may God bless each one of you as you serve the Lord. Thanks, Louise.